stop the presses, this is an empties update that you won't want to miss. So stay tuned to the very end so you can see some shocking empties. I'm so excited to share all of these things with you today. Welcome to Beauty and Beyond. I'm Amy and today we're going to talk about all the things that I used up in the month of September. So I normally categorize things as good, okay, and then worse. But today, because of the nature of what I have to share with you at the end of the video, I've categorized it by group. So the first thing I kind of wanted to share with you are uh, several perfume samplers that I finished up. A lot of these came from a scent diary that I got from Alice Brooklyn and they are you know like the little small samples like this but I really like the appraised perfume and I wanted to get the scent diary so that I could see if I liked any other Ellis Brooklyn perfumes. Super Amber was definitely one that I would consider purchasing a full size of. I loved this and my husband often complimented me whenever I wore it. So if my man likes it, it might be a bonus. This one is Sunfruit. Um, Sunfruit was a very fresh, um, Scent, very kind of a fruity scent, but not like sickeningly sweet fruity. I liked that one. <coughs> Salt was a really good one as well. And um, I enjoyed the fresh scent of that also. Now let's see, two replica perfumes that had gotten just in some samples. One was the coffee break sample. And I'm here to tell you that this smells like nothing like coffee. It is a really, really wonderful smell. Another replica perfume that I finished was Jazz Club. And I will say that it, while it smelled nice, I wouldn't ever buy this. Um, the smoke scent in this one is very strong. <laughs> I also finished the Angel um, Muggler, Muggler, oh, Angel Elixir Muggler. Um, perfume. This is the same brand that does the Alien perfumes and I loved this one. I would definitely consider buying a full size of that. Um, another one that I did not finish but my husband and I both were like not really liking. This was the OG Clinique Happy. I just, I don't know, I was really excited to have a sample of it because it's so classic. But then when I started wearing it, I thought, no, I don't like it as much as I used to. 20 years ago. So I decided not to finish it because I wasn't enjoying it and my husband wasn't either. Next section of empties I'm going to talk to you about are body and hair care. First one that I finished very quickly was actually something that somebody from our church had given me and it's this Epoch um, Burst Body Wash. I'm not sure where they got it from. Um, and it was fine. It's very orangey scented and it lathered really well. Um, it was good. This is my deodorant. I haven't used another deodorant in years and years. I got this off the recommendation of Taylor Wynn a long time ago and I love it. I am a sweaty gal, okay, and I need help. Um, but I don't, and like manly help, like Old Spice, but I don't want my deodorant to smell like men. So this is the Oasis scent with vanilla notes. And so it is a very good, strong deodorant, but it doesn't smell like a man. It just smells very nice and vanilla scented. So awesome, awesome deodorant if you are a sweaty person like me. <laughs> Um, I finished a whole bunch of samples. Um, this Olaplex number no. three hair perfector. <sighs> to be honest, I have no idea what this is really supposed to do. <laughs> and the fact that you have to put it in your hair and leave it in there for 10 minutes makes it very, and you have to rinse it out. It makes it very, very um, unappealing to me. I do have two more of these samples and I will use them for sure, but I would definitely not buy this just because I don't have time to be in the shower for 10 minutes just for fun. Do you? Not me. The next thing I finished was a sample of the Tony Moly Watermelon Dew All Over Serum. But it was sort of like, um, do it in the bathtub and you rinse it off. So I used up this whole thing in one time because I put it all over my body and it was gone by the time I was done. So I don't know that I would buy this. 
um, because I really don't know what the point of this is, but it was fun to try. Something that I would buy is the Toleriane Double Repair Face Moisturizer Sunscreen from La Roche-Posay. This is a very nice sunscreen, blended in very nicely, and I love most La Roche-Posay products. That one's very good. The Peach and Lily Peptide Pro Firming Moisturizer was another finish that I had, and it really surprised me that the color of this uh, was blue, and I don't know if you can see in there. I don't know if there's even like a tiny little bit to come out. I don't think so. Oh, oh and there it is. It went somewhere. Oh, right there. On that. It was blue, and uh I don't know. I mean, I I don't if I if the price was right, I would buy it, but um it was it anything overwhelming for me. I finished uh this is a spoiler for Partners in Cream. I finished the Clinique Tech the Day Off um like eye makeup remover. Um, this is very good. I don't buy these uh, because you get them for free pretty often in like Ulta things. So I wouldn't actually buy this because I know that I'm going to get another free one not that long from now. I also finished up another spoiler is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 serum. This was in also my 23 to Pan in 2023, and I got her used up, so I'm so excited about that. And I would, I might buy this again. The Ordinary is pretty inexpensive, and so, you know, to kind of take a chance on some of their skincare products is not going to break the bank. So, you know, it was a nice, um, it was a nice serum. Uh, just a little sticky. I'm not sure how other hyaluronic acid um, serums compare to that one. That one's a little sticky like on your skin. Um, two uh, moisturizer, full-size moisturizers that I bought or used was the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This was wonderful. Um, I enjoyed using this at night. It was lightweight but still hydrating and it was a very nice way to sort of end my nighttime routine. I love CeraVe moisturizers and they are definite repurchases often for me. This is the last moisturizer that I used up. I can't get that out, and it's the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Plus lotion, and this is probably the third or fourth one of these that I have bought, and I usually buy them when they are on sale from one of Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. To get a prestige lotion on sale for half off is really good, and I like using this in the summertime, spring and summertime, because it's moisturizing, but it's not too heavy, so it's perfect in the morning, and it goes great under makeup. It works really nicely with makeup, and all all of the other things that I put on. So this was a good purchase. Now, the last category that I have is makeup. And it's hard to finish makeup when you have a lot of makeup. But this month, oh my gosh, I reached several goals. And I'm so excited to share with you those goals. If you are someone who doesn't like spoilers and you watch a lot of my long form content, then you might wanna pause and watch later for my project updates. Um, so first of all, super easy and not spoiler, is that I finished um, two samples of the Bare Minerals Primetime primers, the red one, I mean the like red reducing one, and the like SPF one. I enjoyed both of these really well. I do have a lot of redness around my nose, and here, and some days my skin's a little redder than others, so this was a very good job, and it definitely wanted me to open my eyes and my mind to maybe exploring some other, um, like, green primers. And the SPF one was wonderful. I, you know, normally I don't use a primer anymore because I just use my SPF, and it was really nice to be able to have sort of two in one. I had had both steps in one and I could save some time if that was something that I wanted to do. And this um, this SPF primer was not a very dewy. It, it wasn't super mattifying, but it wasn't very dewy. So I felt like it was a great like in the middle kind of thing. And I would definitely explore getting some more of that at a later date. Okay, now 
Um, I have four makeup items. The three of them are in projects. So I'm going to start with the one that's like, it's a spoiler, but it's not like a big deal. I finished the Anastasia Brow Wiz like sample that I had gotten. And I mean, the sample was only like that. It was not a lot. So I knew it wasn't going to take me very long to get through that. And I did not. And shockingly enough, when I had bought a full size of this, it kept breaking, but this did not break. And now for the big three, I am shocked. And it's so motivating to me, just as a little side note, it's so motivating to me to be able to finally reach goals of finishing up things that I have already bought. And it's part of what's, you know, wanted me to be on a makeup no buy, which kind of turned out to not be really a no buy, but my purchasing habits have definitely kind of tamped down some. So I've been very encouraged to not buy because I'm so close to finishing so many different things that my shift and my mindset is on finishing instead of buying more things. I hope that that can be an encouragement to you. And if it is, I would love for you to like this video to let me know that you are wanting to use up more than you buy. The last three items that I have, um, this one is not in a project, but you know, I finished this kind of organically. It was in my classroom for most of last school year. And when I noticed how close I was to finishing, I really set my mind to finishing it and it is one of the Maracuja Juicy Lip. I'm not sure what the shade is because the sticker came off but it is kind of this dusty rose um, color and I love the scents on these. They are very vanilla-y which is very nice to have on your lips. Now I, you can't pump this up anymore and I'm not someone who likes to dig out products um, in order to use them. Um, but here is kind of what it looked like a little more concentrated. It was just a great lippy to have in my classroom. And I was able to kind of put that on throughout the day uh, to just add a little color to my lips. I love these Maracuja Juicy Lips. They are very nice. And I have several more that I'm looking forward to using now that I'm finished with that one. This one, I just uploaded a video not that long ago about products that I wanted to finish up before the year was over. So this wasn't officially in a project, but it was something that I had kind of announced that I had a goal and a mindset to finish off, and I did. And it's the KVD Good Apple Foundation. I have had this for a little more than a year. And I do like this, but I am noticing that I've got to be very, very careful with it or it can get really cakey really fast. You don't need a lot of this. A little goes a long way. And I've also found my technique to using it was to kind of like get it on the brush and kind of just pat it in a couple of places. I just hit myself. And then take a wet sponge and the wet sponge would help kind of take away any of the extra, like if I had too much. It definitely helped with the blending and for it not to be too much and too heavy and too thick on my, you know, over 40 skin, which can, you know, that can happen very quickly for sure. So this was a great foundation and it had very, very good coverage. I found that it covered up little dark spots and things over here on the sides of my cheeks very nicely and it was a good foundation. And the last thing, my greatest crowning achievement of this year, the last thing to go for my 23 I want to pan in 2023. In my project, uh, Partners in Green project, and the one of the oldest things that I own was the Honest Beauty Cream Blush. I had the shade Rose Pink and I finally finished. I even like cleaned it all out so I could show it to you and it would be nice, shiny, clean, compact and clean pan. Um, this was a great cream blush and it uh, did its job, but as all cream blushes go, it just kind of started to lose its um, impactfulness so I had to build it up a lot in order for it to really kind of give me the satisfying color that I wanted 
because I've had this for like three years. So take this as your note. Partners in Cream project is a really good project because its goal is to use up the cream and liquid products because they go bad faster. And this, this wasn't bad, but I could definitely tell that it wasn't quite as good as it was when it was first purchased about three years ago. So this is all of my empties. Four, at least four makeup products. Three of them were full size. I cannot believe it. I, it's been so long since I've had that. So this was a really good month of just feeling very satisfied with getting things out and using up what I have instead of buying new things. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you did watch all the way to the end, why don't you leave me um, your an emoji to show me your favorite um, makeup step. Lips, cheeks, eyes, all of that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.